All right, everybody. So we're back again, and on this video, we're gonna talk about how to adjust and set up your video converter board. Okay. Now, this is a CGA to VGA converter. You can also get CGA to HDMI converters as well, but this one's just—it's a cheaper version. That doesn't mean it works better than the HDMI one. They both technically, they have their pros and cons, okay? Um, something I didn't mention on the last video I made about converting from a CRT to an LCD is right here. This is actually a VGA input, okay? Not an output like the one up here. The reason why these boards have this is for games that use a VGA output from the actual, well, the game board, which would be a computer. You would use this only when you have to put a flat screen monitor in a game that doesn't have the same resolution power that's being output by your video card on a computer itself. So if you need to downgrade your resolution a little bit, you want to use one of these boards and you plug your VGA in here it would convert it, downgrade it, make it work and then come out of here. But that's what all of this video is about, okay? We're going to be setting this board up for the monitor that it's plugged into. And we're going to use these switches right here, alright? Now just to make things easier so you can understand what switches I'm hitting and stuff you want to set your board up the way I have it, alright? So the bottom of your board will have your switches on the lower right corner and your CGA input on the lower left corner, okay? You set it up like this, it will just be a lot easier to follow what I'm basically doing here. So let's get a close look at these switches. Let's get a focus in here. As you can see the left hand switch here has SW, which basically just stands for switch. Then we have an up, a menu, and a down. Now to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to show you a still image of this, where this here will be switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, and switch 4. So when I tell you what switches I'm hitting up above while you're watching the monitor get adjusted, it'll just make things a little bit easier. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> now we're towards the front of the machine, and I can actually start showing you what the adjustments do when you actually make adjustments to your game. Uh, the first thing I want to kind of show you is what switch number one does, alright? That's how you can adjust the different types of inputs you can have on this converter board. You know, whether it's CGA, VGA, RGB, so on and so forth. As you can see, if I press switch 1, it'll switch the inputs. You see we get a black screen. And that's because we're not using those inputs. Then we come back to the CGA one, and boom, we have an image. Alright? Now, switch number 2 and switch number 4 are up and down buttons. Switch 2 is up, switch 4 is down. Switch number 3 is how you get into the menu, okay? Now, something you need to note, when you get a brand new converter board, most of them are gonna come in a foreign language. It's, I don't know if it's Chinese, if it's Japanese, or if it's Korean, or Philippines, I, I don't know, I, I, I just don't know. But, when you go, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is when you press switch three and go into the menu, I gotta actually get it. There we go. So you press switch 3, and you're gonna to wanna to come down to number 4, which is your language. You come into the language section. Wait, one sec. Alright, there. We have English, and then of course the Chinese or Japanese, or Korean, whichever. Um, and to select whichever one you want, you're going to press switch number three, okay? Alright, 
so what we need to do is go through each of these options so option one is picture this is how you can change your brightness your contrast your saturation your sharpness and all that okay so if it, if it switched for me remember this is not a new board this is a used board so go all right next option two is our geometry now this is where you can change your positions for your horizontal your vertical and your size for your horizontal and vertical you can also change your clamp your clamp for this is going to essentially be what your pin cushion is that's how you can actually make, you can make your image look like an hourglass, essentially. It's kind of a center curve that it does. And of course, as you saw, the menu went away. If you don't do anything within a few seconds, the menu is going to go away on you. Thanks. Okay, so we're on geometry. We want to fix our horizontal and our vertical positions, okay? And using the up and down, you can adjust all that kind of stuff. Before you do any kind of positioning, you really want to adjust your size, okay? So let's adjust the size here quick. You see that? How it's getting smaller? And then it's getting larger. Okay. So we're going to first make it a little bit small. It'll just make it easier, ultimately. There, now we got more of the image. So once we get that kind of crunched down a bit, we can go ahead and adjust our actual positions. So we make sure everything's on the screen that it needs to be on the screen. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll do our vertical. Then we can adjust our sizes to be our final setup. Now you see it glitching like that? That's because uh, this is a used board. Okay. Now, the display is how you can change the actual resolution of the game. We're going to go ahead and stick with what we already have, which is uh, 1040 by 760. Okay, so now that we've gone through the actual settings and we got it kind of close, you can go through the individual monitor settings themselves too and kind of make some adjustments. So let me zoom you out here a little bit. Actually, I'm going to reposition the camera a tiny bit just for you guys, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, now that's taken care of. Since we're using an LCD monitor or even, you know, a computer monitor, we're able to go through and change some of these settings here as well. We go to positioning. 
and we can adjust these positions. So, we'll make our horizontal. Okay. Then we'll do our vertical. Okay. Now that that's set up, we'll exit out of here, and then we'll go back to our board and make some finite adjustments, okay? <coughs> Come down here. Okay. All right. Now our screen is actually set up the way it should be. The entire display is equal every image is visible on the screen here okay I'll try and give you a better view take you off the tripod as you can see there is no black bars that go around any side of the image itself and you can see all the sprites everything that's supposed to be able to be seen it's all here all right so that's how you will adjust a video converter board. Remember, it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of dinking around, but you just start with the basics. Shrink the image on the video converter board, okay? So you get a better idea of where all your sprites and pixels and everything like that are at in the gameplay. Then from there, you do a minor adjustment to give a general size of your screen and after that if your monitor itself has the ability to adjust the screen images like this one does then you'll adjust your monitors screen size image resolution and all that and when that's done you basically just go and do your fine-tune adjustments like you see right here now you can go ahead and adjust the monitor itself first and then adjust the converter board but you know it just really depends on the monitor you're using sometimes it could be easier that way and sometimes it can be more of a pain in the butt it just really depends you kinda gotta mess around with it and see what works the best this is just one of the ways that I like to do it again step one shrink the image on the horizontal and the vertical step two set the image size and position on the monitor and then step three, do all your fine detail adjustments. Set the position, set the size, and then of course the resolutions. And if you need to, you can adjust your pin cushions, which in all honesty, most of the time you don't need to do that. When you're using a converter board, it just does it itself and it'll set it up just fine. Um, other than that, the only other thing you really need to adjust is like your sharpnesses, your brightness, contrast and stuff of that nature and this monitor doesn't need it it's actually in pretty good shape it's already ready to go everything is nice and crystal clear okay so that's how you adjust a video converter board okay guys if you have any questions about this go ahead and ask them i'll do my best to answer them and uh we'll move on to the next video so hope you guys learned something and give it a thumbs up 
and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.